uh, TakeLessons.com, and I'm the author of the Dead Man series, Tuning of Books for Teaching You How to Play the Mandolin, and today I'm with my partners, Elijah and Gideon, and we are learning how to make a flute out of a Coke bottle, a recorder, actually. Now, I saw somebody made up a blueprint on how they were trying to pitch it to Coke to make these little flute bottles that had a special cap that you could put on it and it had a little thing that you could take off and poke holes in the bottle and make a flute out of it and I wish Coke would actually make that because it's such a cool idea um, but anyhow we're going to try to recreate it and it's going to be a little bit different because I don't have the special cap but there are some principles of sound that will work when you blow across an instrument the right way you can get it to make some sound and we're going to work on that today. So what we got to do is cut the bottom off of that, Gideon. Where is our knife? Um. All right. Thank you, buddy. And kids, when you're messing around with knives, you want to make sure that you have your parents' permission and that they are with you to make sure that you stay safe. And we're going to cut the bottom off this Coke bottle. There's still Coke on Oh, really? Well, we'll throw that part in the trash so we don't make a big mess. This is cool too because you're learning how to recycle stuff that otherwise might go in the landfill and you might make an instrument that you really, really love that you could keep around forever and ever and ever. Okay? Instead of going in the landfill. This may not work. But it might. We'll see. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is poke some holes along the top. Or poke like a couple holes. Yeah, just like with our Coke bottle trumpet, except this, the holes are going to be right here. And I'm actually going to peel this Coke label off because it's kind of in my way and driving me crazy. because I think our column is way too big. Yeah. So what we need to do is reduce it a little bit. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some holes in the bottom of this Coke can or a Coke bottle bottom just like this to where I've got some little sound holes. And I don't know if this is actually going to do anything or just be a goofy idea, but my theory is that this should reduce or help us to trap some air in to make it a little bit more manageable. cut like little um, squares or any or holes or whatever Flap. flaps to um, create a different sound. All right, bring it here, buddy. Okay, so put it in there, reverse, and kind of shove it right down in there. Actually, can you go drill a hole in this right through it? And while we're doing that, we'll go on to another instrument that's really fun. So this is a twofer. We're going to do two instruments. I was taught how to make a kazoo or a little comb harmonica when I was a kid. You take a comb, the hairs off of it. You put a piece of paper over it, and you kind of buzz it with your lips. Now, this is just a receipt. Um, you're making 
the noise, but it's also buzzing. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta loosen up a little bit. I poke my lips like this. On it. And I go like that. Okay. That, that's all right. We'll it's practice right. it. This is our little flute. We'll see if it works now. And we've got our holes in it. This is a failed experiment, I think. I think we had a lot of failed experiments. But you can try it and you can see what you come up with because maybe you'll come up with a better one. Now, look. If we were to take our... Oh, look at this, guys. I got an idea. Can I borrow the scissors over there? Before I give up on this, and you should never give up on an experiment that you're working on either because you just don't know when you'll stumble upon the right this idea. This is kind of like a tam uh, What if we took read. our little flute that we made out of the straw and let that be our mouthpiece and we put it in here it's hard to hold on let's make a little one put some tape around it so it'll actually hold in place this will be Yeah, that was it. Now one of the holes. somehow. I don't think this is quite sealing off. I think if you make more precise holes, but an exacto knife is not the thing to cut holes with. Our next instrument. We will see you in the next video. Have a great day.